Welcome to programming in Lua. In this session, I'll be developing a lottery generator using for loop. And I'm going to be using Corona simulator and uh, also the Corona simulator output. So I'll start by going to file, new project, give it a name, lottery. Save this very file on my desktop. And make sure you select blank click on OK there now this the following files are generated by the corona simulator itself double click on main that's main right there double click on it and there we go we have our development environment there or the code editor environment right there so I'm gonna close this file I don't need that anymore and we also have the simulator right there okay so we start by using for loop we're gonna be using for loop but before then I intend to delete all of those uh, comments in there which I don't need let's go for the first thing I'll do is to enter input and output which is IO write as follows so I'd like it to just specify as follows for me enter speech back and I want maybe three of those new lines so those stands for new lines so enter lottery lottery number generator there maybe another three new lines there and close the speech mark close the bracket the next thing is enter for loop for maybe i equals one comma six then you enter do which means for i equals one to six okay then you enter i o input and output i o dot write Wrong spelling there. I order to write. And we need to use mass function mass dot random. Okay, and the lottery number you only allow six numbers as you can see this and the, all of the numbers also start from one to fifty nine that is or those are the numbers the lottery numbers so you only allowed to choose six numbers so for each of those numbers that is generated I would like a tab let's say tab and close that then in lower you also have to end your for loop and that is all there is to generating lottery numbers in Lua using Corona simulator. So what I will do now is save my save my codes and launch the program. And there you can see I have my six randomly generated numbers. So let's do that again. You can go to file relaunch and that is another one okay guys with that i'll call it the end of this program if you want to have a quick look at the codes again let me show it to you just right there those are the lines of codes i'll just call it by for now